might want to know something that I do every day. Internet files, browser history, downloads. Oh, downloads is a big one. Hey guys, my name is Brett. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking about slow max. I mean, slow, oh. slow max. Uh, it's such a headache to have a computer that lags. For whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. You just want the thing to work fast and efficiently. So this isn't a fun topic at all, but I want to give you some pointers. I'm going to run down a list here to let you know some things that you can maybe look out for, watch out for, if you are indeed dealing with a slow iMac or MacBook. So here's the thing about machines or computers. Over the years, you keep using them. It's going to slow down eventually. Our job is to elongate that process or for as long as we can extend the process of our computer from breaking down or becoming slower. If you've already purchased a Mac computer, I'm going to tell you the number one thing is maintenance. You can perform weekly or monthly maintenance to extend the life of your computer. And this goes for all computers across the board. So if you already have purchased your Mac computer, you know, this will help you in the long run. So now that I've gotten ahead of myself, I didn't give you those lists. But before I give you the list, just make sure even before you purchase, if you have not purchased, the specs of your computer is very important. You wanna research this. Get down the specs that you need. You may eventually start out with wanting something just as a toy or something to just play with, you know, Mac and Apple is a great brand just to have. We got them all. We got iPads and iPhones and everything in between. But eventually, you know, you may get into uh, an intensive program like Graphic Arts or an Adobe software, Logic Pro, these programs really start to tax your Mac's processor and the RAM. All of these things are needed. So if you're about to purchase, you wanna make sure that you are very intentional about knowing what your, your Mac specs will be or what you need as far as your specs to be. So here's the list of things. Here we go. We've got the processor, data overload. We've got too many files on your desktop. All of these different things. Your hard drive. Is it a solid state drive? Is it a regular hard drive? How big is it? How small is it? All of these things are important features of your Mac that you need to know or you need to be aware of in case that Mac starts becoming slow. Let's get right into it. So the first couple things we want to watch out for when purchasing a Mac computer, our Mac, whatever your desire choice of computer is your RAM and your processor. Firstly, your processor, it processes the information within your Mac. So if you got a lot of things going on, you need a big processor. Easy enough. RAM. RAM is literally what we call random access memory. You open a program, your computer has to go search the information and grab that and bring it back. You open up a file, it has to do that. So how quickly can your computer also process and retain that memory so that you can work efficiently? Simple enough. When you're in the market for iMac computers, you wanna check out the processor that the computer you're looking for has. So remember earlier when I talked about maintenance and you wanna have maintenance, I'm gonna get back to that right now. In maintenance, it's so important because we're constantly saving files, opening files. The maintenance of your computer is so important. And what do I mean exactly about maintenance? So in dealing with maintenance, you have data overload. So data overload is simply you have saved so much data on your computer, you've never done anything with it. You haven't batched your files or put them in an external drive and, and your file space just gets lower and lower. Your storage just balloons out of control. And this causes your Mac to slow down. Your Mac actually is running off of the hard drive space. And if it's full, it, it really has nothing to work with. Store your files. Continuously look at where your hard drive space is because it, it accumulates exponentially. Trust me, you need to check your hard drive space at least weekly, especially if you're doing a lot of work because um, these files build up. That's a part of your maintenance and do something with it because you're going to hit a brick wall one day and realize, oh my God, I don't have enough hard drive space on my computer to function. Or maybe your Mac will become slow and you won't know why. Don't be like me, be in the middle of a project and my Mac's slowing down, it's acting up, whatever. So now I've got to jump out of it. I'm trying to create something and I can't because I've got to stop what I'm doing and go and figure out why my Mac is slow. Desktop files. If your desktop is cluttered, your computer is not going to be able to think. I mean, it's, it's going to drag the response of your processor all the way down. Keep your desktop icons to a minimum. Make sure that you don't have just a whole lot of desktop items or at least put them in order. Organization, I, I, I like to preach organization, but your desktop files, you shouldn't have like a hundred different icons on your desktop. 
For some of you who have computers that have slowed down, you know, this may not be as obvious, but your hard drive may be corrupted. Now, let me explain. Hard drives get corrupted all the time. There are the newer hard drives that we call um, solid state hard drives. Go check out my video on Lacey hard drives. Uh, you can look at that. But the hard drive is so important and these things get corrupted. I myself purchased a, a used Mac a couple years ago. The hard drive was corrupted. It came to me corrupted. I had to get a new hard drive. Thankfully, it was just a hard drive and that was $200. I was in the hole, uh, but thankfully it was that. This is not as noticeable, but you may wanna check and see if you wanna get a computer technician on it. Um, check and see if this is an issue because it is a possibility that your hard drive may be going bad. So we've got through a list of things that you can do to sort of prevent your computer from being slow. I wanna get into cache files. So cache files are simply files that are hidden stored away in your computer, you can go find these. It takes a you know a little while to uh, retrieve these, but you want to start to begin to maybe delete the files that you aren't using. So I do not recommend this for you if you are just starting, you're not experienced or have some sort of um, background in computer technology. These files are used um, either by the internet or by programs that you're using. So cache files are files that do cause your computer to, to become slow. You wanna know something that I do every day? Internet files, browser history, downloads. Oh, downloads is a big one. Research your downloads and see how many downloads that you have accumulated over the years. I mean, I've had downloads from like 2015. They are gone because it's just taken up unwanted space or it's taken up wanted space by you, the user of your own personal MacBook. Like you have these files just sitting here, not even being used. You downloaded them four years ago and you don't need them because your file or the program applications already on your computer. This is something that you want to be careful and watch out for. There are programs consistently running in the background of your computer. So you want to go to your force quit, search out those programs that are running in the back that you're not using. So I'm not talking about the programs that you currently are using, like right now, as you're doing whatever you're doing. But there are certain programs that you've opened up. It may have been earlier this day or that day, uh, or you never closed the program. Programs do not close themselves. They don't close themselves. You have to physically close them. You have to physically command Q, quit. Go to the program and quit it. All but the programs that you're using. This will allow your, your Mac not to have a program running in the background, have another program running in the background, and then you're trying to upload or bounce down a file. It may be taking forever because you've got all of those other programs that are taking up the RAM, or the processor of your Mac. This is one thing that I don't necessarily use, but each Mac has an activity monitor. This monitor just monitors the activity of your Mac, obviously. It breaks it down into percentages, I believe. So if you got a really big program using a, it, taking up a lot of space and using a lot of processor, it'll show that program. Subscribe to this channel if you made it to this portion of the video. Um, this allows the algorithm to get it out to more people. So that more people can just receive value in what we have talked to you today about and what we've given you in terms of information. So like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Thanks.